In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your own oil prices dashboard in PowerPoint. So I've created the title slide here. And the next step is I need to figure out where am I going to get my oil prices from? So one option is Yahoo Finance. And I found a crude oil price here. I think this is the WTI, West Texas Intermediate. And as you can see, it's got the updated price there. So one of the simplest ways is to simply borrow that. So what I did here was I just inserted a picture. I went insert picture and then I just inserted any picture from my hard drive. Then I clicked on the picture and then I clicked on data point. And then I clicked on web URL to convert it to take it directly from the web. I put in the website URL address here and I choose how often I want it to update and click OK. And now I've got an automatically updating image that's going to show whenever I run my presentation. So this is a very quick and dirty way. It works great. Um, it's a good way to be in there. I can I could remove this title and make this you know full screen to make it you know to make it more visible when I run the presentation. The drawback is of course I end up with all of the other Yahoo branding, their other news and things like that and I can really only show one one price per page. So it works but it may not be the best solution for you. Now, here's another option is I decided to show the next one is tables. So what I did here is I'm getting the stock prices from FinHub that has a great uh, stock API that allows you to get things such as real-time stock prices, uh, even cryptocurrencies and other things. I signed up and I got my free API key and then I went through their documentation to find the link to be able to get the stock prices. Now what I did was I went into the data point and then to the list command and I created uh, a JSON connection here for each of these ones that I wanted to use and then I would click on the pricing uh, you know create a query and that would ac access the pricing for me and as you can see it's showing the ID C-H-L-O-P-C-T, so this means closing, high, low, open, previous closing and this is a timestamp. So I did that and put that in and then I get this particular table when I do this. So what I did was I inserted the table first, clicked on table, and then I connected that table to the particular data connection that I wanted. And then I chose to start filling the data at row two, uh, row two, column at one, and then you know copy the column names there to the first to the table. So the column names will be there. But the problem is, you can see I've got some extra info I probably don't need here. Like the ID is kind of wasted and the timestamp I don't need. So what I did for the next one was I did exactly the same thing. Did the table, except that what I did was I changed it so I was only choosing columns two till six because that really had the information I wanted. So that worked a little bit better for me. So two ways, this let me put two or more on a page, you know, so that I can see the pricing right there. The third method, and that gives me the most control over this, is I quite simply just put the names here. This is just a standard text box where I put the names of the oil pricing I want to close. And uh, that also is, you know, the closing price. And again, I could choose the opening price or whatever I wanted. And then what I did was... I used the same insert of the text box here, then you know, change that text box to be a data point text box. And then I chose the data connection and which column I wanted. So I wanted the closing column in this case, and then it previews and shows me the actual data. And then I can put that in there. And then I did the same thing for the West Texas Intermediate. Uh, same thing, chose the other data, con data connection. This gives me the most control, and again, I can make this prettier, but this gives me the control. I can put these text boxes exactly where I want to go, line them up, um, and, and it's going to be a much better way to lay them out. And it takes a little more time than just dumping in a table or a picture, but once you take the time to set up, then it's going to be flawless every time after that. And thanks to FinHub for providing such a great API uh, to provide the stock pricing. And I put their link down there if you want to check them out, finhub.io. So if you have any questions about how to get stock pricing into your own dashboard in PowerPoint, uh, please contact us uh, using the one of the 
links below. And uh, please hit the like and subscribe button to show us you like our con this content and to help other people find it. Thanks for listening.